Hi guys, Mike Greer here with a quick tour of an amazing little app that can help you pretty much get anywhere, whether you're walking, or you're taking a bus, or calling an Uber, or it's called City Mapper, and let's check it out. When City Mapper first opens up, of course, it's on the working screen to help you get someplace, but I'd like to show you, I'm in the Los Angeles area, and uh, I'd like to show you the data sources that this powerful little app is sitting on top of. Globally, it's pulling from Apple, Google, Foursquare, Yelp, Lyft, Uber. Look at that stuff. These are an enormous mass of data available to it. And for the individual cities, it shows you where they're getting their data, which they add to the universal stuff. We get down here. Get down here to Los Angeles and look at that. What we're pulling from is a metro system, the, even the Burbank, Anaheim bus lines, which are outlying cities, as well as the Central um, Transit Authority, Metro Links, all of the trains and buses and everything that runs in the LA area. So I'm gonna go back here to get me somewhere. I'm gonna click on that to start with. I'm gonna say, I've already looked for this. So let's say I wanna to go to the Broad Broad Museum, and the that's the Los Angeles version of that. And they don't come up with a name for some reason, but they do come up with a place name. So I'm going to say, okay, I want to go to that. It's in Grand Avenue. Lots of information. If I tap on more down there, up come reviews, and the, well, of course, a link to the website, the fact that it's currently closed. Plenty of reviews from folks that are just recent reviews, and I can see what I'm getting into to go there. Uh, I'm going to be taking that trip from the 10202 Culver Boulevard, or Washington Boulevard, rather. So we're going to take this little trip from 10202 Washington Boulevard in Culver City downtown to the Broad Museum. And notice we have here that it's going to take me 867 calories and to walk 10 miles and 210 minutes. And it gives me, <laughs> which uh, I probably don't want to do. So what I'm going to do is look at the other options. Of course, I got a lift option, and up come my lift choices along with the cost estimates, and I can click over there um, and book that option. But I don't have the lift app on this phone, so I'm not going to do that. Let's go back a notch and see what the other choices are. Notice some suggested routes here down below. Of course, you got your Uber, and um, which comes up the same way. And then you got your bike routes up here as some suggested options. Under the different transit options, notice that there's some walking involved. A little walk icon is shown on almost all of these options, except for here's one that has no walking. And I'm going to be really lazy. I'm going to go for the bus option where I walk to the bus stop, Washington Boulevard, from my point of origin. Notice I can at that bus stop, it's saying 9.07, 9.22, 9.35. Those are all leaving times. I can come up with more of them by pressing the more button there. Then I ride 10 stops and get off at the expo, walk to the Culver City Station at the expo, about two-minute walk, it's, it's showing me, and then I just jump on there and wait for the expo eastbound line. I'll have a 12-minute wait, 16-minute wait, or whatever. They keep running that often. What's really interesting here is even the section of the train is recommended. If you look at that, um, uh, the front section is likely to be least empty or least full, I guess. Then I get down here, I ride those stops, jump off at the 7th Street and Metro Station, go out, exit the Flower Street, walk up to the bus stop, 7th and Flower, and catch a little tiny, these are little dash line buses that zip around every eight minutes. And I would get that at Alameda and Main. Ride six stops on that, go to 7th and Flower, and then I'm at Grand, I'm at my destination. So I want more information about my destination. There's the phone number, visit the website, etc. So very thorough, lots and lots of choices, drawing on lots of accurate information about, and what I really like is that they're telling me how often these things are running. If I go back here and Go to the main home screen, um, the main screen that opens up. 
when it says get me somewhere, get me home, get me to work, you can set your home and work destinations. You can get more information about your commute. Let's just open up that morning commute. And it's going to give me some suggestions. That home screen is just filled with choices. Some uh, recent trips that I've taken are captured there. If I want to find out a particular bus line, let's say I want to find out about the uh, Expo, the Expo, the Metro Expo line. Up comes lots of information about how that runs the whole way from Santa Monica to downtown Los Angeles. That's background information about the Expo line. So I can do some kind of freeform planting if I want. I can get information and capture information about calories. I don't know what this is all talking about here. Use, use Go to collect and learn. Okay, I decided to check out this trip stats thing. So what I did was I took three walks, and this is giving me the results of these three walks. I spent 310 calories total. Uh, three hundredths of a tree was saved, and I got to save $7 in cash. Here's what that means. The equivalent of under that tree saved is 752 grams of CO2 was not spent because I walked. And uh, I chewed up a few calories, so I get to eat something, and I also get to buy something. So down below there's a trip mix, seeing that 100% of my time was spent walking as opposed to waiting and riding. But that's pretty cool. It kind of motivates you to keep track of your trips and to also use mass transit. So uh, the benefits of mass transit versus using or walking versus using your car are clearly laid out for you. Very nice. And then there's maps. Click on system maps. And there's my metro and regional rail maps of all the different uh, maps that are in the area. So I can, it's all here at your fingertips. And instead of like I've, I've been doing recently is uh, zipping around in different PDF files that I have on my device to look at these different maps. But, uh, I mean, it's just loaded with stuff. This is These, of course, are some blog posts and some articles that the people who put together this app have available for me. Um, this thing is just amazing. That's all I can say. It's just really an incredible app, and I highly recommend you check out the, let me see if I can find it here. Click on rating, and this is going into the Play Store. And there it is, City Mapper, the ultimate transit app. It's uh, with 5 million of them uh, in the Android version, 58,000 uh, 4.5 star ratings. I mean, look at that New York Times quote, the single best app for finding your way in the city. So... I say go for it. Get yourself the City Mapper app and have a great time planning an efficient trip.